Well, if you've followed us at all in the past, you know that we love to archery antelope hunt. And this year, we're back down in Wyoming. And I'm super excited because my daughter Shelby is joining me on our first ever antelope hunt. You know, one of the great things about going on these hunts is when you do have a family member or friend, uh, you experience things for the first time. And Shelby's first time to Wyoming was a hoot. We are driving out to the field, headed to the blind, and one of the songs from our past came up when she was just a little girl, and she was singing, um, made me feel uh, just proud to be a dad. So we headed out to the blind and had an awesome first day. You know, one of the things about archery antelope season is that these are long days in the blind. And I'm usually hunting with Kurt, and we have a kind of a just a gentleman's agreement that we take turns taking naps. Well, somehow hunting with my daughter, she got the first nap, the second nap, and the third nap. But it was pretty exciting when that first antelope came in, and I got to tap her on the leg, and um, game was on. Thanks. Right now, it's 100 degrees. 
Well, this was a really tough year in Wyoming. Um, we had a lot of rain and um, the action wasn't really hot and heavy. Shelby and I had a very slow day, but the one antelope that did come in uh, provided her with a great shot and uh, a lifetime memory for both of us. And while we were in one blind, Jason and Kurt were on the opposite end of the ranch, kind of experiencing the same thing. Not seeing a lot of antelope and things were kind of slow. setups when you haven't been here. Jeff just set this blind up a week ago, but there was goats all the way around, and so it's going to be a hit and miss deal today. We're just going to have to sit here and be patient. There's one behind us, only about 200 yards, so we're going to hop in here quick, and JW's up first, so we're going to get settled in and see what we can do here right away. I'm not sure where they're going to come. settled in here we're definitely down in, a, in, a, in somewhat of a hole we're not sure what's around us right now and we won't know until they're right on top of us which isn't going to be real easy as far as video standpoint um, I guess on a positive note uh, if they come in give us a shot the shot should be pretty close idea how lucky I was on that. I shot through the blind. <sighs> I was steady. I was good. He's a nice goat, real good. I tell you, we got really lucky here, but I, I shot right through the blind. In fact, my blades on my kill zone opened up and went through the blind and still, believe it or not, flew perfect at probably 20, 22 yards. And I think I smoked that goat right through the heart. He's dead. I have no idea. He's dead. He's he's oh, I see him. 70 yards away. Nice. Beautiful shot. It worked good. I mean, it was calm. And as soon as I released that arrow, I mean, I was just, it was one of those things where you, when you practice, it just all, you release and everything nice. But I heard that arrow hit that blind. And I saw it go a little bit lower than I wanted it to. 
And uh, I thought, oh, oh. And uh, that was the best thing ever right there. It was a good shot, got a little lucky. Um, but to see it go down, wow. Yes! That was pretty cool. Well, that caught me all off guard. Boy, I tell you what, um, you know, we're sitting in it. I mean, Jeff did a great job in setting the blinds up. Um, but we're just, for filming purposes, we're kind of in a hole, and I just happened to look. Well, no, uh, sure we heard something, something like a snort or some, some, uh, something running around or whatever. So I looked this way. Kurt says he's coming from behind this way. And I looked, and I just caught the tips of some horns, and then I looked again. It was gone, and then he popped up over here. I don't know. There's a rock over here. It's a rock outcropping over here, about 50 yards, and there he was, just stood there. You know, it's really hard to hold back emotions uh, when this happens like this and the way it happened. Um, when, when you make that shot and it, and it turns out to be a good shot, whether that's by luck or, or whatever it be, and get to see the animal go down within 70 yards of the blind, that is an extreme bonus. Um, beautiful, beautiful goat. Beautiful day, you know, huge thanks to, to Kurt, of course, for tagging along and letting me have the opportunity at the, the first antelope that came in and to John and uh, Jeff Seekich for, for coming out and getting these blinds set up. Uh, things worked. Kurt and I honestly were a little skeptical about how this was going to work as far as video. And uh, I think perfect is a word that we don't use very often, but it was perfect. Everything was perfect.